Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Do you have your deck prepared? Is your deck prepared for a water, fire, and rock type? Well, technically fighting type? Deck? Well, is it? Good! Let's go through here. <laughs> oh no, it's him! It's him! Hi Mark, how you doing? So, you want a second medal? You must have been really lucky! I'll see how good you really are. Come on, let's duel. We'll play with six prizes. If you win, I'll give you a really rare card. Sounds good to me, so it's on, baby. So, <laughs> yeah, rival Ronald's deck is named I'm Ronald deck. <laughs> anyway, let's get this duel started. And honestly, this is probably going to be your most difficult duel so far. So be careful. I can't stress this enough. Be careful. Because his Pokémon can get pretty powerful, and his deck is relatively balanced. Well, aside from that Arcanine being a little bit off, you should have one more copy of Arcanine. But whatever, whatever, I shouldn't be helping him. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and aim for uh, Charmeleon here. So I'm gonna save all the cards in my hand just for now, like Professor Oak and stuff like that, uh, for the future, so I can get some fire energy a little bit later on and and whatnot. I just wanna you know use up the cards that I have in my hand right now, um, just so that I'm good. <laughs> you know, I don't wanna underuse my resources, basically. Um, uh, I guess I could do that, and I could probably get away with doing another scratch, because I don't think he's going to plus power or something like that. I know he has a plus power, but the chances of him having a plus power and a fire energy card is slim, because <laughs> he's only got one plus power card in his, uh, in his deck, so yeah. Anyway, now I can do that, and I can do this... And I can finish off his Charmander before it devolves into Charmeleon. I got a decent opening hand there, so I can't really complain about this too much. By the way, if you should lose to Ronald, I would recommend that you just restart from your last save until you beat him, because you most certainly want to get uh, the rare card from him by beating him. And you will eventually beat him, um, unless you get terribly, terribly unlucky somehow. I'm, I'm not sure how you could get that unlucky, but... <laughs> You get what I'm saying here. Uh, in that you'll eventually win if you keep at it, basically. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Bill, definitely, but... I'm thinking I should switch to uh, my Pika Poop. Because uh, Charmeleon's just gonna keep getting hammered. He doesn't, you know, Lapras is a water type. And yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And... And, 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 I'll probably save the plus power uh, for my next attack, so I can get the most out of it. I think, well, um, actually I don't think it would matter when I use the plus power, because it'll always just do 10 more damage, and I really want to get rid of that Lapras, <laughs> you know, as soon as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm just going to nibble away at Lapras, and there we go. So yeah, it'll always do 10 damage plus... I mean, it'll always do the damage that you were going to do plus 10 when you use a plus power. Oh, I was using Confuser. I was actually ah, expecting Water Gun. That's a problem, actually, because I was expecting to be able to attack with Pikachu more consistently, and I might not be able to. That could be bad. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I got the full heal, but I prefer to save it for when I need it, but I guess I need it. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, I won't use Professor Oak just yet because I still got the Fire Energy card, and I might want to use Computer Search for something, like maybe I'll I'll pull out a Raichu <laughs> right or something like that, but we'll see. But for now, let's do a Thunder Jolt because it will most certainly knock it out. Yeah! No damage to myself, too. Woo! And you know what? I probably shouldn't have used that plus power, come to think of it. I was just being stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was that was a genuinely bad move. But that's okay, it's still early game. His deck isn't mega powerful that I'm gonna have to worry about making no mistakes whatsoever, so I, I should be okay in the long run. Uh, if only I had an energy removal. Hmm. 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 Should I? 
Should I? I'm thinking I should. <laughs> Just to save my Pikachu from having a little bit of headache here. So I'm gonna dump that, and I guess a gust of wind. And... So this, what this will do is it'll prevent uh, Pikachu from taking 20 damage on the next turn. And I'm just going to use Professor Oak here to draw 7 cards with the most broken trainer card in all of existence. Ooh, Arcanine. Oh, and Growlithe too, very nice. Uh, so I'll be kind of matching the cards he can potentially put out. Uh, I'm gonna leave one Rattata in my hand, like, I don't know, I, hmm, I was thinking if I need to discard it, but I already used Computer Search, and I removed uh, Super Energy Removal from my deck because it uses too many resources for such an early game deck too, so maybe I won't be able to get good use out of the Rattata in my hand as a discard, unless I forgot that something else that I put in my deck. I don't know, I switched my deck so many times here I forgot my stuff. <laughs> Anyway, that, that's exactly why I wanted to uh, energy removal the Growlithe there, because I just did 10 damage to myself uh, on a Tails coin flip because of Thunder Jolt. So, if he would have been able to use Flare on the next turn with Growlithe, which would have done 20 damage, my Pika Poop would have been knocked out. So, yeah, that was definitely a good, cautious move on my part. Uh, I guess I could get Arcane Eye now. Because I'm not necessarily, you know, attacking with it right away. It's just to get its HP up so it doesn't get, like, destroyed by any one of his water types. Like, you know, well, not maybe not Squirtle, but, you know, Wartortle or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to try another Thunder Jolt. Oh, man! Such bad luck! Such bad luck. Uh, but anyway, I got a prize. Oh, yeah! Love this version of Magmar! And he's only got this Squirtle left, but he might draw another bench Pokemon. Oh my god, really? I'm actually gonna beat him this easily? Are you serious? <laughs> this seems a little... Seems a little weird that, it's, that he's gonna go down this easily, but... That's how the cookie crumbles, I guess! <laughs> and I didn't even knock out my own Pikachu there. I was, I was kinda expecting it with my bad luck, but... Well, luck doesn't really favor or disfavor anyone. <laughs> I wasn't really trying that hard, sure. Well, a loss is a loss, so I'll have to give you this card. And I got a special promotional card! Level 12 Puff! Woo! Yeah, these are very hard to get. Any promotional card in the game is difficult to get multiple copies of. This is why I wanted to beat them here. Uh, it's not too shabby of a card. It can stall with uh, first aid, as you can tell there. Uh, so it's 50 HP is a little bit more useful than it may look. And Double Edge, it's it's kind of powerful for a basic Pokémon, but, you know, it has that recoil thing that you might want to watch out for. So, this is a Jigglypuff for a different kind of deck, I guess you could say. Anyway, let's move on here. It won't be so easy next time. See ya! So, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's gone. Um... If you should miss getting that card, you know, if you don't beat him, uh, as I said, you could just decide to reset your game, you know, just by restarting from your last save, or you could hope that the card appears here at the Challenge Hall. See, this this place right here. Greetings, welcome to the Challenge Hall. The Challenge Cup will begin soon. If you win the Challenge Cup, you will receive a promotional card. Please join us for this competition. Well, the competition isn't going on now, but they'll eventually start uh, coming when you get the third club medal. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to explore here to show you around. The Challenger Cup the Challenge Cup is held here. At the Challenge Hall, we're still preparing for the next Challenge Cup. Please visit us another time. So yeah, here's the, the tournament arena, which you can trespass on, and yeah. <laughs> this door here, people have been wondering what's behind this door for ages. Well, I'm going to tell you right here, right now. There is no way to get through this door whatsoever, so just leave it. I mean, seriously. Uh, there's, there's nothing behind there to see. Nothing. No lies. It's probably something that the, the game designers planned on adding, like maybe some sort of back room to explore or something like that, but they never finished it, maybe, or maybe it's just detailing to the wall, but yeah, you can't go through that door. Anyway, what's that? Oh, the Challenge Cup isn't being held right now. Me? I'm waiting for the Challenge Cup to begin. Me too. <laughs> I work hard at the Challenge Cup as the host. I can't wait to get up on the stage. I can't wait to check my mail! <laughs> oh, I got one! It's me, Dr. Mason. How are you doing, Mark? 
I have some information for you about Rick's deck. He's the master at that. I already beat him. He had the Science Glove. His deck uses Mux Toxic Gas to prevent your Pokémon from using Pokémon Power, or using a deck that relies on Pokémon Power to attack. His deck's weakness is Psychic Pokémon. You know, his Psychics are weak against Psychics, and Science Pokémon are weak against Psychics as well. Collect Psychic Pokémon to duel his deck! Even though I didn't really need them. <laughs> his deck was kinda poor. I suggest you study the deck from the Psychic Metal deck machine. Hopefully it will be of some assistance. But what if you don't have the Psychic Metal deck machine's metal to activate the Psychic Metal deck machine? You're stuck! <laughs> anyway, you get a booster pack. And let's see, oh yeah, Polyrath Whirlpool is the one that you're aiming for here! You get the Scarred Energy cards! Oh yeah! Um, oh yeah, another Magmar. That is awesome! <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Onyx is a good. I think. Wait, did I show Onyx before? I think I did. I'm forgetting which Pokemon I've shown before and which ones I haven't. But Onyx is a good stalling Pokemon. That's all you need to know. Win all eight Master Medals, Mark. I certainly will. All right, let's get over to the next club, shall we? The next club that I'm going to be going to is the Lightning Club. Now, why the Lightning Club? Well. Because I have fighting Pokémon in my deck, basically, and I don't have water Pokémon in my deck. Greetings! Welcome to the Lightning Club! At this club, we use decks made up of mostly of lightning Pokémon. Would you like to get charged up with us? You bet I do! But first, let's check the side room here. Hey! You charged up! You playing the Pokémon Training Car Game?! Yeah! Gotta be a Grandmaster! <laughs> He's really excited! Hey, kid. Got a level 20 Electabuzz. What I really want is a level 35 Electabuzz. Hey, kid, you have a level 35 Electabuzz? Now, this is a trade here. If uh, you have one, you know, you could you could trade it to him and get the other version of Electabuzz, which is much, much rarer. It's a promotional card, but it's uh, not as not as good as the uh, level 35 Electabuzz. Just saying. So, the other Electabuzz is going to be for collector's purposes only. <laughs> for, for the most part, at least. I wonder if the legendary cards are pretty. If they're sparkly, I'll be really happy. Yeah, me too. No one can resist the sparkliness. By the way, um, I do believe when you go to every uh, a new club, uh, you'll get a new piece of mail. Oh, no, you don't get a new piece of mail. I guess it's only when you talk to the club master that you get the, the tips for the deck of said club master. Oh, whoa! 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 I'm a little busy at the moment. Duel somebody else. Now, I'm gonna see here. That's the club master there, Isaac. He's, uh, fixing the lighting. <laughs> okay, let's check here. No, he doesn't. Okay, just wanted to see. Hmm, maybe it's when I can duel him that I'll get another email. But anyway, who should I duel of these three? Who should I duel? I'm thinking... You, because you have the most annoying deck in history, because you have four flying Pikachus! Isn't Pikachu totally cute? I heard skips a beat whenever I see those cute little eyes. Hey, you wanna duel my Pikachu deck? <sighs> Here we go! <laughs> oh god, she even looks like a Pikachu! <laughs> so, yeah, she's got a lot of mice. A lot of versions of mice. Surfing Pikachus, flying Pikachus, Jungle Pikachu, Base Set Pikachu, Promotional Pikachu! Lots of Pikachus left and right, it's... It's gonna be a mouse massacre. Well, actually with the starting hand as bad as I've got there, I... It, it might be my massacre, but <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Oh, yeah, this uh, level 16 Pikachu, there's two versions of this very same card with different pictures, but they have uh, the same attacks. Uh, but, you know, if you wanna collect all the cards, you gots to get them all, and I'm just gonna do that. And yeah, I'm not really sure too much about Diglett, really, uh, because, well, I guess I could use the Diglett because it's resistant to uh, electric, but it's a thing of that uh, her flying Pikachus are uh, resistant to fighting Pokemon, and look, look at that. Look at that, she's already got one. And yeah, the surfing Pikachus aren't very complicated, by the way, there's two pictures of this surfing Pikachu card as well. There's one with like a mountain-y background, then there's this one right here. Um, they're both promotional cards and we gotta collect both of them. Don't worry, I'll show you where to get them, but for now, just, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a very basic card, just mostly for collectors. It's also a very splashable card in a water deck because it's a lightning Pokémon that uses water energy cards. And uh, there's also this version of Pikachu, which you know of. Uh, here's the other level 16 Pikachu picture that I talked about that, uh, 
Uh, just like your active Pokémon. Yep, it's Pikachu after Pikachu after Pikachu. You see, this one's an identical one except for the picture. But uh, yeah, she's got all the Pikachus under the sun <laughs> that she could fit in her deck. And it won't be pretty. Anyway, let's flare. <laughs> let's see how things go and hope, hope that she will not destroy us with her many Pikachus, especially the flying ones. Is she not getting any energy cards? It's kind of kind of unusual. I can't complain though, but it's unusual. Um, I think I'm gonna put. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put fire energy on Rattata and just continue to flare. Yeah, just doing a little damage at a time. And oh, Pokeball. If she's not getting any energy cards, that's uh. It's not really gonna help her. She can have all the Pokemon in the world, but if she can't attack, well, that's trouble. But usually she gets a lot more lucky than this. I don't know, this must be my lucky day or something. Because <laughs> at first I didn't have any issue with Ronald, and now I'm just... I, I won't have too many, too much issue with her Pikachu deck of doom. Uh oh, she's out of energy. She'll, she can start gnawing. But uh, I'm just gonna energy removal that, because that's gonna tick her off. Although, maybe it won't, because, she, you know, she's a computer, and computers don't have emotions. <laughs> uh, no, I shouldn't have put that fighting energy card on Growlithe. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should get the um, Rattata here powered up in case I draw Eradicate, you know, for a Super Fang. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I think I'll save it, actually. I'll just do a Flare. And hope she doesn't draw an energy card again. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Oh, she must have drew another Pikachu. And... By the way, that Pikachu that she just put on the bench was one of the... Uh, um, bench attacking Pikachu's variations. I guess I'll plop Rattata on there. Wait, no, no, no. I'll put Lightning on that Rattata. And Flare. That'll knock out another Pikachu! It's... Pikachu after Pikachu after Pikachu. Eh, promotional Pikachu is up to bat. <clears throat> uh oh, uh oh. Paralysis, please no. She tends to get very lucky with the coin flips for some reason. She's uh, one of the most lucky players in the game, in my experience. I don't know if that's just how the game's RNG is programmed to be, or if I just tend to get unlucky versus her, but that's how things usually go when I'm against her. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to end the turn. I'd like to get my Arcanine, but, you know, I don't really have anything to pull it out at the moment. Because my deck isn't, you know, super, super structured at the moment. And, of course, she paralyzes. Which means Growlithe is gonna be... Well, maybe not, because I could potion it. <laughs> I was gonna say Growlithe is gonna be knocked out next turn because I can't attack or retreat it. Uh, I... I don't know. Is it really worth using a potion on... I mean, I guess, maybe, because I might be able to get an Arcanine out of it, but even so, you know, it'll, be, it'll have 50 HP of damage on it already. So yeah, maybe I'll just save my potion and just end the turn. <clears throat> Alright, we'll see how things go. Hopefully I won't regret that decision. She seems to be getting the energy cards now, so it looks like this duel won't be quite as one-sided as it appeared at first. Yeah, she's gonna get her prize card, and I am going to plop out... Plop out... <laughs> this Rattat, I think. Oh, Professor Oak. Oh, Professor Oak. Um, that might be a worthwhile investment. Um, I'm gonna do it like this. And... I'll save Professor Oak for the next turn, I think. And bite. Just to get Pikachu's HP down. What I'm aiming to do here is potentially self-destructing that Magnemite with an electric, or I mean, a lightning energy. And, you know, just uh, blasting that Pikachu to smithereens before it evolves, because uh, her Pikachus can evolve into Raichu. So, yeah, that wouldn't be too pretty. Oh, I got a plus power. Um, num, num, num. Yeah, I'll do a potion right away. And... Uh, I'll, I'll continue to save the plus power, I guess. Just thinking about the future here, and Nibble. Because I'll be able to knock out Pikachu on the next turn, just as long as uh, Rattata survives a turn. Oh god, please don't pull out Raichu, please, oh god. Oh god, oh, oh, that might be even worse! <laughs> just, 
<laughs> she knows her flying Pikachus are her ace cards. Oh god. Well, if I can evolve uh, Rattata, you know, to Raticate, I'll be able to use Raticate's Bite Attack. Um, let's see what I can do here. I guess I'll just use that, just because I'm gonna use uh, Professor Oak here anyway. Mm, I'll put this on Kangaskhan, and here we go, Professor Oak! Oh wait! Why didn't I use the full heal? Oh jeez, I'm just... You know, as lucky as I'm getting this part, I'm playing kind of stupid sometimes. Oh, I got another full heal, never mind! <laughs> oh, and I got a computer search for Raticate, That's, that might even be uh, more appealing than using the full heal. Hmm, Raichu, energy removal, wow. Uh, I should probably use energy removal on uh, the flying Pikachu. And, uh... 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 <laughs> okay, I'm gonna computer search by discarding Magmite, and I guess Charmander. For... Eradicate. And I will eradicate. See, the plus power still stays on the Pokémon even after you evolve it, so... Yeah, I just slapped it on there anyway, just because I was gonna lose it when I used Professor Oak anyway. So, yeah, <clears throat> it's kind of useless to play the plus power at that moment in time, but maybe it's just a thing of, yeah, I don't want to, want to use it for kicks. Uh, Alright, let's just bite. Nom 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 nom. Mmm, delicious mouse. Cannibalism. <laughs> kind of. It's, you know, mouse versus mouse. Alright, let's see what she's gonna do. Nothing! Awesome! That is good news for me, and she's got no energy card. So, um, what I should do is probably start nibbling. Uh, oh, oh, I can't do Super Fang because I need three energy cards. I was thinking of powering up the other Rattata and to eradicate, but I decided to use it on that because of the whole paralysis issue and ARG. Yeah, I'm not playing all that my best, I might. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm gonna put this on Machop and just start biting. Mmm, delicious. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to do- oh, I was gonna say maybe I'll be able to do 30 damage on my next turn somehow, but that's not looking like it. <laughs> ah, let's see. I can- oh yeah, my bench is full, that's right. No! <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'll, I'll start powering up Kangaskhan so I can get the Comet Punch going, and I'll just bite. Sound good? Good. All you need is just one prize. Just one prize, man. <laughs> uh, oh, of course, because I discarded Charmander, I get the Charmeleon. Oh, whatever. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> and that Pikachu is going down next turn, unless she switches, which she probably is. Oh, God, really? Super Potion? Really? <laughs> it's at the cost of an energy card, but that's just going to keep stalling me out. Well, I could try for the win here by retreating Raticate and hoping that I get three out of four heads for uh, Comet Punch here. Will I get it? Will I get it? Will I get it? Ooh, it's gonna be close! Oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! I, got it, I win! <laughs> I'm glad I took that uh, little chance there. Well, I guess it wasn't much of a chance because, uh, you know, I wouldn't have lost even if I would have gotten that because I, I, I had a pretty good set of Pokemon going there and she couldn't get any energy cards for most of the game. So yeah. Ah, my Pikachu lost! Thank God, because I hate dealing with your flying Pikachus. Uh, Nidoqueen, yeah, you, you, you know this Nidoqueen from the whole uh, lovely Nidoran deck, don't you? Don't you? Oh my God, double colorless energy! Oh, 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 oh. This is one of the most game-breaking cards, because it, it basically allows you to attach two energy cards in one turn, which is rule-breaking, which is great for colorless Pokémon, and Pokémon that use colorless uh, energy to power their attacks, like, say, Charmeleon Slash, or Arcanine's Takedown Attack. Uh, oh, have you seen Persian? You might have seen Persian. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you did see Persian. It's not... Eh, it's kind of iffy. It's, yeah, let's keep going, keep going, and... Okay, you've seen all those. Let's see what we get. Oh my god! Fossil Mew! 
This is kind of a... Kind of a weird card in a way. It's not super powerful, but yet it has potential in a way. Because as you see, it can do... Like, say, because Pokémon might take four energy cards to attack, four or five energy cards to attack, like if it, if it was like a Blastoise or Arcane Iron or something like that, and you can do quite a bit of damage with Psy Wave like that, but since it's only got 50 HP, it doesn't typically last that long. And then you got this here, uh, Devolution Beave. You can return uh, Evolution cards to the uh, player's hands. So it's kind of disruptive, in a way. Sorta, and I do believe that damage counters stay on the Pokémon, so if the Pokémon's HP drops... Um, if the HP, like say, a Pokémon had 40 HP in its basic form, it evolved into something that had 80 HP, and that 80 HP Pokémon had 50 damage put onto it, if you used Devolution Beam onto it and brought it back to its 40 HP form, I do believe that would knock it out. Um, but yeah, Mew is a very, very techy card, basically. Uh, I'm a star, not really the best, too, too energy dependent and too coin flippy and not very high HP for a stage 2, uh, you know, that kind of Jolteon. Mm, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> energy removal. Uh, you probably know this from Nikki's deck by now. It's kind of interesting, one of the, uh, there's a couple of... I mean, there's a Grass Pokémon, this one, Execute, and Psyduck Golduck, which use Psychic Energy uh, for a few of their attacks. And, and even though that they're, you know, out of their element, it's just something that's a little bit different, basically. Uh, and that appears to be it. Yes, I definitely agree. Get yourself some card sleeves. Alright, so let's do a little deck modification here. Let's get those awesome energy removals in, well, just that. You know, I'm actually going to plop that one in there. Uh, I haven't really gotten that much use out of Switch, in all honesty. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to drop the potion. And that should be good. I know I don't have any healing options, but I'd rather Switch than uh, heal for the most part. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I battle... One of these two guys in the spotlight. I don't know why I made that sound so dramatic. I mean, it's not like they're on stage or anything. 